Let's go. They, they get a rock and they throw it through the window and then they say, hey man, there's a TV in here. Come on, let's go. Dog. Well, let's get it. <laughs> yeah, man. That's, that, it's a free for all. Taking off that washer. Yeah, man. Look, yeah, if I was down there, I would I would have I would have played ghost. If it, if I was down there, I'd, I'd take everything. Take it off, right? yeah, yeah, well, if I was down there, I certainly would have had a gun. Oh yeah. Because yeah. I want to I want to gun out like a sucker. That's right. If I, I was down there, I would have some pigs. See, I've been shot five times, man. You yeah. have? Oh, shit. Yeah, man. Uh, I mean, uh, just messing around with stupid shit. Well, what kind of what kind of caliber was it? It was a it was a I got shot two times by a 380, and then I got shot once with a nine millimeter. And then a, a 22. Really? You mm -hmm. get shot in the legs, or? I got shot in the leg three times, and in the neck, and in the stomach. In the torso. You're, you're lucky you're alive. Yeah, very, very lucky. And 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 the, and the baddest thing about it that tore me up the most uh -huh. is that my dad shot me once. Oh, One of shit. the shots was from my dad. Was it an accident? No, purpose. So what did he do that for? Hey, because he was un I guess he was unsatisfied with my childhood. Uh, I don't the way think that I so, was. so he so he figured since he got brought you into this world he could take you out. I guess he took that literally. Oh man. Because I mean he just man. pulled out that 22 and said come here. <laughs> you know and, and how I, old were I, you at the time if you don't mind to ask? Right. Huh? How old were you at the time if you don't oh, mind? Oh man, when when was that I got shot? When did my my dad? Oh, I must have been about 11 years old, 11, 12. Oh, dang. Man. Is, everything he, okay, is everything okay with your dad now? Or? Oh, yeah. Everything's cool now because I beat his ass. <laughs> <laughs> I had to once because he, he, he hit my mom at the table. We were sitting at the table, right? And he hit my mom. And, man, I got, I got, I got real mad. And I stood up. And my mom, man, she, she ain't even, man, over 5'5". Five, five. And my dad's six foot, uh, five, And he's motherfucking 230 pounds. And she shoves him about, what? Four feet into the pantry door, woo, woo. and I mean, she shoved him. I mean, he hit it hard, and then he pushed her out the way, and she fell and almost broke her arm. Uh -huh. And that's when I went off on him. He said, "Well, you think you're tough, you know?" And I think it is real disrespectful to hit your dad. And he started wailing on him. Yeah, I just <laughs> I just went off and, and jawed him, man. That's, that's right. Because I mean, when you, see, when, you see, when, when you see when you see what when you see one of your parents get hurt by your other parent, you know, you automatically want to defend them, you know, because yeah. you know that they're in the wrong. Yeah, that's right. Like it. Like, like you love your mom, right? Yeah. I mean, I mean, I mean, you love your dad. You do anything to help him, but whenever they start doing that kind of stuff, you yeah, know. you go to the you go to the side that's that's yeah, like. Yeah, but then it's different from that day on. More now, if it was my mom trying to be his ass, I can live with that because I know she ain't gonna really do a bunch of damage to him unless she get a gun or a bat or something, and then I'll try right. to stop her. Right. But I mean, if she just slapping him with his hands, I want to let her do it. Yeah, because yeah. but but your father's a lot stronger than your mom. Yeah, that's right. It? That's right, and and he and he can you know he can hurt her real bad. Yeah, he he almost like he almost broke an arm, and that's when I went off on him. That's right. Yeah, because you because you mean, know that's just a natural you know, instinct. Because you know that's uncalled called for, you know. Yeah, it very really is, man. You're never supposed to hit a woman, man. That's right. It's very disrespectful, man. It, it is. makes you look like shit. What do y'all think of legalization of marijuana? Uh, I think I think the dank should be legalized, man. Well, yeah. yeah. Yeah, they've already started some stuff in England right now where yeah. they've gotten a form of hemp that's been uh, made legal to make clothing and uh, yeah. paper, but yeah. it's not used for smoking at all. There's I mean, only one plant that that grows marijuana here here in te yeah. and here in uh and the in the country. And that's my sister's. That's my big sister's plant over here. <laughs> no, I mean legally. <laughs> legally, they can grow it for the doctors. Yeah. There's prescription people for eye cancer and stuff oh i saw that on 2020 like yeah it's yeah. like only one place right uh, yeah but uh you know and you can't get it it's all secure and locked up but i mean you know why 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 make it only for people who, who have cancer you know right it may cure other things you never know hey wait yeah they already got enough uh proof on it that it does help out other things right now it's being it's it, people are actually recommending aids patients to use it if uh because uh, a lot of problems with uh, they don't have an appetite, and they can. There are forms of uh, of uh, marijuana that can be used to build up your hunger. Most most of the, most of the kinds that it comes will automatically make you hungry. Yeah, man. Hold up for a second, all right? All right. Yeah, but uh, hello. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Yeah, dude, it's messed up though, because you could get more time in jail for just having a bag and killing somebody. All right. I know, man. People go to jail from for a quarter ounce of marijuana for like they could go to jail for two years, and people that go and uh, kill somebody in front of a crowd of people. Get out. Yeah, yeah they, get out. That shit's fucked up. Like when they let McDuff out. Yeah, McDuff goes in and out. He's yeah. like back and forth, and he uh, 
I think if he had some weed on him, he would have he would have been in jail by now. But did you hear what happened when soon as they let him out? The first he went time? out and killed somebody. Yeah, he went straight back out and killed somebody. That's right. It's the same thing that's been going on with a lot of violent offenders. Yeah, that's all. That's right. But did you hear about they finally let that guy free that was in prison for 16 years on a murder charge, and uh, he was on death row, and they finally found him innocent, and they let him out? Yeah. They let him. They just let him out. Yeah, yeah it was on TV, right? So, yeah. So yeah, this I guy, saw that. Uh, yeah, that, I, so this I guy's out, that out still unfair. out now, right? Or is that that? Yeah, he's out now because he was he was he was innocent the whole time. Yeah, but he yeah. he was in this case. He was innocent. He was no McDuff, right? He's yeah. not, he no. hadn't gone out and killed anybody else. No, no he didn't. Well, how, how, isn't that kind of hard to prove? What's that? Wasn't that kind of hard to prove that he was innocent? Yeah, it took 16 years. It, and he was, it, it looked like he was happy about it too, didn't it? Oh yeah, he was real thrilled. Yeah, I mean. I think he liked it in there, because he got used to it. Was there another caller talking? The girl. Yeah. Yeah, were you saying something? Yeah, I think that guy that was uh, arrested and he was found innocent. Yeah. He was really sort of a victim of circumstance, really. He was uh, just turn on your TV. a long time. Uh-huh. And he looked, hey. He, they showed the picture of him and then the guy that they found guilty. Uh-huh. And they, they looked a lot alike, but, I mean, they just basically picked him up because he was there. Well, well see, when you're can in you prison... Can when, you turn down your TV? When yeah, you're, When you're up. in prison and whenever you're, you know, on the outside, it's two different lives. And when you get used to it inside, most of the people who get out, they don't want to they don't want to be out. They want to be back in. That's right, because they so, see that they got a better life. So they start, they start getting attention to themselves and doing crimes and stuff so they can get back in. And it's not hard to get back in. So when, so most of them, you know, I heard what, about 60, 70% of them that get out go back in? Yeah. I forgot what the percentage is, but I know it's overrated. Mm -hmm. Very overrated. Yeah. And they're so crowded today that you can do, you can do a, a big-time felony and get out in like two, three years.